hi i warmly welcome everyone to my channel and if you have already seen the thumbnail you know that i am going to discuss about um, something very special and uh, this is a very sensitive topic when you know it comes to talking about money and all however um, before starting the video i would like to tell you the reason i thought to do this video um, this is basically an update so i have done one video before about uh, our expenses but uh, you know our um, the way we are spending and with the way we think about money has changed a lot since and also we have reduced a lot of our expenses and we are now trying to spend our money a little bit wisely than before and also we are learning a lot along the way as well the reason i thought to do this update is because i have um, recently done a video on my income and i genuinely shared with you guys my own pay slips and the amount i am earning as a junior doctor in the nhs and also in that video i discuss how you can improve your income or you can even double your income uh, by doing some extra shifts as a locum doctor or a bank staff in your own hospital but uh, you know a certain group of people didn't like that concept and i kept getting a message just asking why do you want to promote a low coming and why do you think the salary we are getting is not enough etc etc so i'm not going to answer all these questions individually because you know there is no such a correct answer for that question and it's a very subjective thing um, because my priorities can be different to yours and my you know my expenses can be different to yours so my answer is not definitely your answer so i am doing this video to give you a general idea so if you stay till the end of this video you will get a clear idea whether you know you need to work more or whether you are going to comfortably live with your own salary or not and also i should emphasize that my family circumstances can be different to yours so if you don't know we are a family of five myself my husband and also we've got three boys my son is uh, elder son is 7 years and the youngest two are below 3 years old at this given point we can say i am the main breadwinner of the family my husband is a um, stay in home dad he used to work once in a while but we kind of figured it out that my hourly rate is higher than my husband's so if i do little bit extra work we can actually earn the amount we need um, and we also can earn a lot of extra time to spend together as a family so we are very comfortable in this way that's why i told uh, our circumstance can be different to yours so um, i just give you the details and um, it's you know you can weigh up the pros and cons and tailor this information to your own circumstances so let's start the video then yeah, i got my laptop and i'm sharing the important bits from the budget sheet to the screen as well so basically um, in our budget sheet we have divided our expenses into six main categories and uh, i have uh, you know taken away certain things that i think is not necessary for this particular video for example i have taken the details about my extra income i have only put my exact income i've got as a you know gp trainee working 80% less than full time um for the month of april 2023 so that is the only income information i have not included any of my locum income and other work my husband do once in a while i just want to uh, you know show you guys this is the basic income and these are the basic expenses and then you will be able to answer the question of like you know why certain doctors need to do locum and you will be able to decide whether it is you know whether it is a reasonable salary we are getting or not so uh, what are the six main categories first one is housing and next is transportation and the other one is food fourth is entertainment fifth is health and well being and the last is gifts and uh, you know other expenses so when it comes to housing we have to pay our council tax bill so our council tax bill is uh, 176.44 pounds and for electricity we pay um, we have paid 173 pounds last month and gas is 150 pounds for the internet we are paying 29.95 pounds each month and uh, for the phone bill is uh, 30 pound each for myself and my husband we are paying 60 pound each month and also the house rent currently we are paying is 695 pounds so the water bill is not included here i think uh, certain months we don't get the water bill and it's like in a collective for 3 months we are getting sometimes so we have not paid the water bill last month so that is why it is not included in here for transportation we mainly use our car 
uh, that is also for the short dis distance traveling only and um, for last month we didn't go any holidays or anything so like for example if we go on a holiday this expense will be added up ferry charges and fuel charges will be different so um, the exact amount we have spent for our car last month was uh, we have spent 79.23 pound for the fuel and um, for the DVLA we have paid 11 pound 81 and the car insurance is 41.44 for us so again, if you are starting as new, I have explained all these types of expenses, like the council tax bill, how that can change, how the rent can change, and also how the car insurance amount can change depending on your circumstances. Like all these in detail, you can find in my previous video. Um, this is basically a straightforward video on the you know amount we have paid last month. Entertainment. So we are paying 6.99 for Netflix subscription and uh, for the Amazon Prime we are paying 8.99 so there is 3.99 for Amazon Prime this is basically like uh, if you buy a movie in the Amazon Prime uh, we have to pay a certain amount at the time so we have bought one movie last month so that's that amount for gardening we have spent 78.58 pounds so this is the spring and uh, you know we love to do our garden so that is um, again we have spent last month this amount so this is not necessarily you know um, added into our expenses every month um, so the entertainment um, category can change a lot and next is health and well-being um, so for the skincare our myself and my husband as well as my kids body creams facials and all those things roughly around 60 pound we are spending per month so this is um, not fixed every month but roughly we are uh, putting that money sometimes we can buy something but it can last for more than one month um, so this is like not the exact amount but around 60 pounds we are spending per month for all this and and for the gym uh, we are spending 60 pound that is 30 pound each for myself and my husband um, for our son's football classes we are spending 30 pound a month so for karate classes uh, for myself my husband and our son we are spending 20 pound each so that comes as 60 pound every month so for swimming we are spending 26.50 pounds and um, other supplements you know all the uh, um, multivitamin supplements, micronutrient supplements um, and we are taking like protein supplements and uh, all those things we are spending around roughly around 40 pounds every month. Uh, for hair and nails um, 10 pounds last month so it can uh, so we got a haircut for our son so that is why this uh, amount is added up here so that's again uh, something changing every month um, it can you know uh, <laughs> so this amount is the I can say the basic amount this can um, never go down but it goes up if at all so for food um, the amount we are spending for our grocery is um, almost fixed every month because if you have seen my previous videos that we are very much uh, you know um, fixed on our diet like uh, you know we know what we are buying every month and it's uh, not changing in great deal um, every month um, if we go out that's also like very rarely we go out and eat so we are adding that amount as well in here but for the month of april we have spent all together 688.63 pounds for our food and uh, beverages the last section gift and other um so i have added my rcgp subscription we have to pay that you know either annually or quarterly so for a month I roughly pay around 35.25 pounds this is not something I'm paying every month so I have done a direct debit for RCGP membership so that is how I am paying but roughly this expense is around 35.25 pounds a month I am not paying for uh, my medical indemnity because our deanery um, uh, you know is paying on behalf of us since uh, I think um, last uh, six months so six months ago I used to pay for my indemnity as well but um, now that expense is no more there so um, for parties uh, we have spent 60 pound a month we have roughly kept 50 pound um, you know as a predicted amount for all the parties and all those things like if you need to give a gift for a friend's birthday or if we are celebrating a family birthday something like that uh, church 20 pound roughly this also can go up and down every month and uh, 
parents we are spending around 100 pound every month so under other i have uh, put another 100 pounds so this can be anything we maybe buy extra or if you need to buy some clothes for kids or you need to do some shopping etc that is all the you know expenses in each category you can see the actual amount we have spent last month is 2807.40 pounds so if I show you my salary again, so my net salary last month was 2,431.79 pounds. So these expenses, as you can understand, I am I have kept to the minimum level. If at all uh, this is going to change, it is going to go up. It's never going to come down, as you can see. So you know, um, judgment is yours. So I just basically wanted to create the exact picture in front of you all. I hope I have done that successfully. So I will also share this pie chart so you can see we are spending a great deal of money on housing. Uh, that is 46% of our expenses are for the housing. And you can see my uh, rent is is a, one of the minimum house rents. We are living in a two bedroom house and this is um, like a, a luxury we are getting. We are living in the middle of the uh, town and uh, close to all the shops. We got um, car parking and this is um, this is going to change in uh, a couple of months time. So we have to move out from here and our rent is going to be more than doubled uh, in a couple of months time. So. Um, we are spending 46% for housing and next main category we are spending is food. So we are spending 24% for food and grocery items mainly. Um, and next is I think so the gifts and you know other expenses 11% of our total expenses and for health and well-being we are spending 10% happily spending that 10% and we are gaining more out of that actually um, health wise and you know uh, activity wise um, also motivating our kids and all those things so we are happily spending that 10% mm, for transportation 5% and entertainment 4%. So this is the rough distribution of our expenses and I hope you know you have uh, had a clear idea and if you like this video just leave a comment. If you want uh, any different information you can um, ask that in the comment. I can consider doing a video as well. Yeah so um, that was a quick video and uh, I'll see you again with another video soon. Bye!